If you want wider shoulders, you need to emphasize building the middle part of your shoulders. The shoulder or deltoid muscle is divided into three regions, the anterior, medial, and posterior head. All the anterior and posterior head contribute to a thicker appearance when viewed from the side. It's the medial head that gives your shoulder that broader look from the front and back. Unfortunately, many people tend to focus primarily on overhead pressing movements like the barbell overhead press, dumbbell overhead press, and machine shoulder press, all of which primarily activate the anterior deltoid. If you're serious about developing your medial head, it's important you choose exercises that specifically target this region. Here are six highly effective exercises to help you accomplish this goal. The first exercise is the cable diagonal raise. To perform this exercise, start by setting the pulley to its lowest setting and grab the cable handle. Take a step or two to the side and one step back in a staggered stance. Raise the handle diagonally across your body, keeping your arms slightly bent and relatively fixed. Then slowly lower the handle across your body back to the starting position. Avoid pulling the handles too low as this will target more of your posterior head. Instead, pull the handles till it passes your head. Research suggests that training a muscle to its most stretched position can lead to greater muscle growth. Because this exercise starts with your medial head in a more stretched position than the lateral raise, it's a more ideal starting position for muscle growth. Next is a 45 degree incline upright row, which according to a study done by the American Council on Exercise, elicited the highest activation of the medial head out of the 10 exercises tested. To perform this exercise, start by setting up an incline bench at a 45 degree angle. Grab two dumbbells and lie face down on the bench. Pull the dumbbells up with your elbows flared to the side until your elbows reach about shoulder height. The advantage of this exercise is that you can use heavier weights to overload your shoulders than you would with lateral raises. Since your arms are bent instead of extended, creating a shorter lever length and giving you more leverage. Third exercise is the cable lateral raise. Instead of performing this exercise with the cable in front or behind your body, position the cable between your legs to more effectively target the medial head. Grab the pole with your other hand and slightly lean away from the pole for support and stability. Raise the handle to your side and slowly lower it back down. Avoid shrugging your shoulders during the raise. Instead, keep your shoulders down during the movement. The fourth exercise is the dumbbell lateral raise. Typically, people perform lateral raises while standing up completely straight, which highly activates the anterior head. To primarily target the medial head, you'll want to lean forward so that the medial head is perpendicular to the force of gravity. To further isolate the delts, I recommend performing lateral raises leaning on a 70 degree inclined bench or in a seated position. Doing this eliminates the need for balance and prevents swinging of the weights allowing you to solely engage your lateral delts. Before we continue, I wanna give a huge shout out to my sponsor, Dante Labs, the DNA testing service that has transformed my training and nutrition journey. I recently took their DNA test kit and the insights I gained are absolutely fascinating and game-changing. One of the most eye-opening things I learned was that I am genetically prone to a rotator cuff injury. And you know what? It's true. A few years ago, I injured my shoulders while preparing for a bodybuilding competition and it had a significant impact on my chest and shoulder training, even to this day. If only I had known about this genetic predisposition earlier, I would have focused more on strengthening my rotator cuff to prevent the injury. The Dante Lab test reports also highlighted other susceptibilities that directly or indirectly impacts my training progress, including muscle cramps, arthritis, tennis elbow, vitamin D and B12 deficiency, and many others. The best part is that the reports provide actionable advice on how to mitigate these risks. If you're interested in gaining incredible insights about your risk of developing hereditary diseases and discovering habits that are best suited for your body, and receiving a Nutri genetic report that reveals the ideal foods for your DNA, then click Click the link in the description below and start your genetic journey with Dante Labs today. The fifth exercise is the bent arm lateral raise. Having your arms bent shortens the lever so you can lift more weight. To perform this, hold the dumbbell in each hand, bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Without changing the angle of your elbows, raise your upper arms until they are parallel to the floor. Lower your arms back to your sides and repeat. The last exercise is the barbell upright row. Instead of performing this standing completely straight up, which can lead to shoulder impingement, lean forward slightly. Pull the barbell till your elbows are about shoulder height and slowly lower it back down. Avoid pulling the barbell too high with your elbows past your shoulders, since this can lead to shoulder injury. Incorporate these six exercises into your shoulder routine and see greater growth in your shoulder width in no time. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.